Nobody needs to struggle with substance use or mental health issues alone. Milwaukee County Behavioral Health Services offers free resources to anyone needing support. In today's Mental Health Minute, we are joined by Takia Bennett, founder of With Love Birthing Services. Hey, Takia. Hey. How you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good. Truly blessed. Yes, that's good. I love to hear it. Good, good, good. Uh, let me ask you, how common is it for a new or expecting mother to feel some sort of depression or other mental struggles? Well, you know, first of all, it's so important to remember that these feelings are normal and that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. uh, most expecting or new mothers will struggle at times, and there are resources in place throughout the community to help. It's also really important to be vocal about what you're feeling and to mm -hmm. communicate that however it feels comfortable for you. Um, talk to your doctor, talk to other mothers, you mm -hmm. know, keep a journal if that helps. But always give yourself the time and space to explore how you are feeling. Okay, let me ask you, how common is it for a new or expecting mother to feel some sort of depression or other mental struggle? It's very common. Mm -hmm. um, most mothers experience uh, postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. So you have... Um, new mothers who are after they've given birth they're like okay what am i going to do i don't i don't know how to be the mother like this is this going to be hard is this going to be difficult there's so many questions uh, they fall into that postpartum depression stage mm -hmm. their stress their anxiety heightens um so it's very common um even for mothers who have um more than one child mm -hmm. it's it's still very common for a mother um to experience depression anxiety stress um, things that they just mentally struggle with is very common for both mothers who new mothers and mothers who have already had children. Just some signs that you would see is um, mothers isolate themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be social. Um, they don't want to be able to uh, get on social media, talk to friends or family. They really just isolate themselves. And they even sometimes too just give themselves away from their their new child. Right. They don't want to be around their child. They'd rather not hold them right away um, where they can actually build that bond with them at that very moment. Mm -hmm. They want to give themselves some time, give themselves some space. And also, too, something that's also very common or the sign that you will see, they also say it. Mm. Like, hey, I'm not feeling good today or um, if something just doesn't feel right or, yeah, I'm sad. You know, mothers, they, they do speak on how they feel sometimes. Yeah. So those are definitely some signs to pay attention to. Okay, all good. How is it, how important is it to educate new or expecting mothers about the challenges they'll likely face so they can be prepared for what's in the future for them? That's very important. Sometimes it's you you give them uh, the knowledge or the tools that they may need, but you know every mother and their experience is different. Mm -hmm. um, but as long as we're educating them on, you know, these are things that will happen. This is what postpartum depression is, and this is what you are likely to experience. Right. And also letting them know when you are experiencing those things, this is how it could potentially look for you. But then there's also, but when you're feeling that way, here are those resources to help you get through it. So it's, it's always important to educate them because especially when I think about the new mothers, um, mm -hmm. they don't know, you mm -hmm. know, and it's like you don't know what you don't know right. unless you are asking. And most times because mothers don't know, we have to be able to educate them and let them know mm -hmm. this is what's going to happen potentially for you. Okay. All right. All good. Uh, what are some of the resources that exist in our community that can help women navigate the challenging, this challenging time in their lives? Yeah. So there are a lot of um, prenatal care agencies in the city of Milwaukee where they have uh, support groups mm -hmm. for mothers, first time mothers, mothers who are not first time mothers. Um, we have also... Um, women who provide massage therapy that can help them just relieve their stress, mm -hmm. um, keep them calm and in a peaceful state of mind. Um, and then you also have therapists as well, too, you know, to be able to talk to them and so that mothers can go to them and express how they are feeling. And right. they are, you know, giving them, um, I guess, that boost to let them know, like, it's OK that you feel this way. And I understand why you feel this way. But always just having someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's many resources in the community. That's all good. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. To learn more about Milwaukee County's Mental Health Minute and available resources, visit betterwaystocope.org. If you are experiencing a mental health crisis, call our 24-hour crisis line at 414-257-7222.